A lot of you see it every day on your commute this afternoon. A Tonawanda landmark is gone. But as Lauren Hall explains, it's only temporary. Drives along the 290 in Tonawanda will look a little different this summer. Now that the Paddock Chevrolet Golf Dome has been deflated, the process took about 30 minutes this morning, and now the countdown is on for a new dome to be installed this fall. The dome has been here since 1999, and it's become a town landmark visible to thousands of drivers on the Youngman every day. The dome replacement project is expected to cost the town between two and two and a half million dollars, and officials say it will be ready for golfers sometime in November. They'll also be replacing the turf in the driving range and the mini golf area. Our golf courses are open, our driving ranges are open, uh, the grill at the dome is open, their simulators are open, and uh, we'll be open and ready for business here in November. We're, we're excited. We're excited to get it up and running again. And I'm sure people will, have, you know, people will be coming around here as the process goes through. And we're here for them. This is just the start of many changes planned for Brighton Park. There are also plans to shut down Brighton Pool and replace it with a new hockey arena and splash pad for next year. The Parks and Rec Department will present that plan to the town next week and we'll be sure to bring you more details here on Channel 2. For now, reporting in Town of Tonawanda, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.